Last episode, we installed our new electronics and water maker. <laughs> it's whisper quiet! This episode, we pick up our epic new tender, <laughs> upgrade our solar, tackle some issues that arise with the new improvements. I don't know why anyone will choose to do this for a living. And get way too close to an out of control houseboat. day today, Jesse. I'm so excited. Just spoke to Scott from uh, the Highfield place and the tender is there, ready to go. It's all happening and this is pretty much the last push. After a quick stop, we were the owners of a second-hand Mercury 15 two-stroke. Just here picking up the new tender at uh, Swift Marine. We've got the new motor in the back there. Well, and uh, yeah, far out. It's been so long waiting, and we're so excited to get a new engine. Game changer. No more sitting on the boat, just picking stuck. your picking your trip to shore carefully because you don't want to get stuck. Uh, yeah, super excited. Here we go, turning right onto Rikert Drive. Do you like it? I like it. <laughs> Oh, look at this bad boy. What's this, Michael? New tender. Oh, what is it? It's the new 2020 Highfield 340 military grey. Oh, looks so sick. I can't wait to unwrap this. I reckon it'll start first try. What do you reckon? I don't know, have a go. I gotta put up with. <laughs> it is amazing. Look at the floor as well. It's got like nice sea deck floor. By the time we sorted out the tenders, it was pitch black and our GoPro ran out of batteries, but we had to take it for a drive. Sweet dreams tonight, Michael. Oh, I think, I think <laughs> my junk is safe this time. Oh, quiet. Oh, oh, we're going somewhere. Look, we're moving. <laughs> Okay, you're bloody, you can't see Oh anything. my god! <laughs> <laughs> We just went for a hoon and it was insane. It's scary, you just give it a little tap. Just, yeah. Almost threw me out of the boat. Definitely got to wear the kill call. Oh my god, look what at it. It's made for the boat. Oh, just like, oh, I'll just get out. Yeah, no problem. Oh my god, you're kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it was that easy. <laughs> okay, so the epic thing about this boat, this new Highfield uh, 340 Classic, is the fuel tank actually sits under the bow and there's a false floor so your feet stay dry 
but they're also the other cool thing is the fuel tank can just stay out of the boat, out of the way in this hatch. You can lock it up when you leave, and the line just runs all the way under the floor, so it's a real tidy setup. So I just went and bought this new fuel line here. It's a bit longer than the standard Mercury line, and uh, I'm just going to thread it. it. Even comes with a mouse line pre-tied there, so you can just thread it and send it through. So they thought of everything. Uh, super excited, I'm going to hook it up. Jess has just gone to the doctors and uh, I'm going to just take the boat for a burn. So. Began when we first got the tender from Simon's dad. Um, yeah, now it's come full circle. We're returning it with an engine. So, oh, thanks, Simon. Yeah, cheers, mate. It's been a lifesaver, and uh, it would have been half decent tender if it wasn't for our crappy motor. Yeah. <laughs> After returning the old tender and picking up our brand new solar panels, we got stuck into the install. Hey, Michael's uh, putting the brackets on the solar panel. Trying to anyway. Struggling. Oh, Leaving yeah. B. I'm just about to pull the solar panels off, so hopefully get the big ones on by the end of the day. They're a bit of an upgrade. Massive. It's going to be a late night tonight. We've um, just been working on the wiring. We decided to pull a lot of the cabling out so we had heaps of excess. We actually had no room to run the cables for the new solar controller. So we've ripped out a bit of wiring. This is all the excess that we had in there. It's looking really nice and tidy in there now. Sorrow of celebration beers in the esky. If all fails, we can jam the stories. If not, we can celebrate. Farewell. See you later, old piece of solar. We were getting, what, max 40 amp hours a day? Mm. And Which is 25%. We what did we work out we were using? Well, ideally, about 150 amps a day is what we want to be using to be able to edit, run all the fridges, and still have plenty left over. But we've been living on about 80, I think, 60 to 80 amps. Yeah, so we're constantly in a deficit. Constantly turning the engines on or running the generator. And... We went with a normal house solar panel. This particular model was the Trina Split Max. In total, 660 watts worth. Okay, so we got the panels on very late last night, at midnight. We still had to drill the holes in the panel to attach it to the davits. The back of the solar panels are the most delicate part, so we needed to be careful that the frame of the solar didn't slip off the brackets and slam into the panel. We slid these timber beams in place to allow us to slide the panels around into place. And we're just going to drill the holes now. Going to use a trick we saw on Facebook catch the shavings so they don't end up rusting in our new tender. We're going to cover these panels so they don't produce any power while I hook up the MC4 connectors. So it does look pretty at the moment, but we need power bad. So we're going to run these in series. We'll allow the voltage to go through the thinner wires. So that means plugging this Positive to this negative. B positive. Uh. 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 Hang on. Just like just a done. Uh. Did you put the wrong plug on the end? Yeah, under here. <sighs> Alright, fix it. What do you need? 
I uh, put two male connectors when there should be a male and a female. So I'm just respawning it now. You make sure it's a solid connection. Washer in, screw it up real tight. That's it. Fix my boo boo. And now, let's try again. Negative, the negative wire. Done. Positive. You don't look too confident there. Oh, I just hit it. There's a lot of voltage about to come through this. Okay. That should be it. Okay. Now, watch the app. I'm waiting. I don't see anything. Oh. Okay. Oh. 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 What have you got? One panel uncovered. That's one panel. How many amps is that? Second. Current 3.3 amps. Okay. Voltage 34 volts. Next blanket. That's 50% uh, efficiency at the moment, right? 300 watts. So 12.5 charging. Oh, ho, ho. we've nice. never had that much coming in. How much? Yeah! 22 amps. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, 22.3 amps coming in. So the and most, it's, yeah, and it's the most not we've ever had light. was like, what? 13 20 amps with, two an with 20 amps with two engines flat out. Wow. Like flat stick. Generator put in eight. The solar will put in probably, so, what? How many amps at a time? The solar? Oh, mm -hmm. I think it was 10. 13 was like a, the max. Yes! Sick! I'm going to start the next job, which is reinforcing the davits. So at the moment, the davits, they just go um, across the top here and down a little bit. So without getting more stainless work done, we spoke to some boat builders and they actually just suggested reinforcing the inside. So underneath you can see the, the backing plate is quite big, but there's nothing tying these two sides together so we're actually going to build a half bulkhead so it's going to come up and then back down this side and it'll be 50 mils thick at the base and 150 mil from the top and then that will just give that a whole lot of support so we're going to do that on both sides so yeah plan is i'm going to cut a piece of cardboard out as a template get it in get it perfect and then i'll trace that onto a piece of ply cut the plywood out and then I'll put that in and bog it, fiberglass and epoxy it. So yeah, it'll be a fun place to work. Not really looking forward to this job, but I just want to get it done so we can get out of here. Okay, so I've cut two nice little bulkhead type thingamabobs. They'll sit up like that. I'm going to glass them in. I've got to prepare this surface now where I'm going to put it. So I've just got to sand this paint off, rough up the epoxy surface. After sanding the paint back to the wood, it was time to wet it all up with epoxy and then cove in the bulkhead with epoxy bulk. Okay, so you've just done the coving. This is uh, a little bit messy, but it is what it is. It's a really hard place to work, especially that side. And uh, this done, and hopefully just gonna have lunch now and let that dry. Mike is still doing his side, not to make the job as usual. Uh, yeah, we all could. After a quick burn to blow some steam, it was time to get stuck into the fiberglassing. And back to work. Nearly there. On to round two for the day. Final stretch, hopefully. Hopefully. About to do some glassing here. Jess has kindly volunteered to go into the hole. Again. Get a project. So. <laughs> You're the fiberglass queen. That will be the job from now on. Coming on 7.30ish, I think, 7ish. This is the world's job. 
literally. Like, I don't know why anyone will choose to do this for a living. It's everything, everything's sticky. I'm covered in epoxy, head to toe, my legs, my arms, everything. Back in my hole, and hopefully, it's gonna be the last time. The last, the last piece at, I don't even know what time it is, probably about 10 o'clock. Yay! Probably 10. So broken. It was anything but tidy, but it was strong. It was Michael's turn in the hole, so he jumped in to sand it back that we wouldn't cut our hands reaching in for stuff in the future. We just put the bolts through roughly with the old nylock screws on just to see if that flex had gone out of the deck. We've just pulled the heavy end up and this is this was flexing before it was, it was going up like that because there was no bulkhead in there. But now that this is all tied in with that bulkhead, um, it's solid as. There's not a bit of flex in it, is there, Michael? Yeah. So that's a tick. Yeah. Oh, looking good. <laughs> so this is this is it. Done. You've done one side. That looks good. It looks nice. We probably didn't explain that very well in the video, so give us a rundown. So the problem we had. We chose the biggest tender we could get, obviously for diving, and the biggest motor we could get as well, which has worked out, I think the whole rig's about 120 kilos with fuel in there. So it's pretty heavy on the davits. Uh, we put the two new solar panels on, they were 18 kilos a piece, so there's a lot of weight already on the system. Uh, what we found is when we tried to pull the tender up with the engine, the panels that we had on there started flexing like this, twisting. So we put the tender down straight away and we realized like it's not going to work. Um, the panels were flexing, so this whole frame was flexing. Uh, this arm here was was dipping down a bit, like bending down. Bending down a, <laughs> a little bit. To stop this, to stop this bending here, I bought these stainless uh, fittings and some bimini fittings there. I didn't even have to weld it because they're under compression anyway. So. I cut them to size and got them in, got the fork fitting to fit on that tab pad eye up there and now that stops stops that and um, also the whole davits were like had a lot of sway left to right so I was originally going to get like a cross piece and put more stainless across there like that so we had it tied up with rope originally just to see how it went and it actually stopped all that swaying so I just got some nice um, six mil rope here I just lashed it up a few times and then yeah that's it it's all sorted solid as now anyway so anyway, it does the job works well it's been what how long now fast, six months fast probably. forward six months and it's yep. it's going good with all the jobs wrapped up it was time to get out of here but not before a bit of drama when an out of control houseboat came flying into the pond Bit of excitement for the evening. <laughs> Just winding down Just for the winding evening. Down for the <laughs> clean up, have a beer, and this massive houseboat comes in. What's he doing in here? There's nowhere for him to go. It's pretty tight quarters on the best of times, not especially when you have a damaged prop. And then they oh, smash, smash into one of the sailboats over there, and then they start reversing towards us. And I'm like, Are they coming? She's like, we have a problem with our engine. And I was like, go forward, <laughs> go forward. And then I said, oh, pass me a stern rope and I'll walk you over to that wall. And then she pulled out a rope, which was like a meter long. Oh, Jesus. 
Oh, well, I'm definitely, I'm certain that marinas and are more dangerous. Docks are more dangerous. About to go. With all the jobs finished, it was time to get the hell out of here for good. Best feeling leaving the marina. Hopefully, touch wood, fingers crossed, we're not going to be back there for a while. It's another year, hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. So, no offense, Ken, or Redland City Marina guys. Um, you have been wonderful, and we appreciate all the help that you've given us and the knowledge. And uh, hopefully, we won't see you anytime soon, except for maybe on a social outing. <laughs> oh, what a day. Yeah, that's what Beautiful. lies ahead. It was a pretty special moment for us because that was the last of our upgrades. The only thing left to do was take the car back to Sydney for storage, two weddings and then we were free to set sail. We headed back to the bay and dropped the pick. I was pretty eager to test out my new Goose Hill Sup that I picked up from the marina. in here and thank you for watching and supporting our channel I thought it'd be a good opportunity to go back and do a recap on the sub that we were sent to review a few months ago we use it all the time and it's literally been in the harsh Australian Sun every day since we bought it either in the water or stored on deck it hasn't shown any signs of wear yet if an inflatable sub is something you're interested in we managed to score you guys a 20% discount just follow the link below and enter the code we don't get any money out of this, just happy to pass on the savings to you. Cheers and see you next episode. If you like this episode, don't forget to subscribe and ding that bell to turn on notifications. A huge thank you to our patrons for their ongoing support. Stunning beauty. We'll see, we'll see how good he is. Oh, it's in one piece, coming in mud. You're out of trouble now. I didn't carry on nearly as much as he did when I was sanding it. What's wrong? <laughs> <sighs> you know I spent two days sanding in there. Yeah, I know. I can't be angry doing the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Even just rowing is easy, like it's full pivoted and just locks in. <laughs> what are you done? <laughs> you done? It's the bottom. <laughs> you just can't. Turn, <laughs> turn sideways. <laughs> Take your hands away. Look at that. Bloody perfect. You just can't laugh too much. Peyton, Peyton pending. Is yeah, that, you know, is, you've got a drinking problem. This is how we're going to find out. Portable. Find out travel. <laughs> Portable bar. <laughs> like a cocktail, oh, so. Yeah.